While it may have been seen as an odd move at the time, especially due to the canceling of the mostly popular Netflix series, we're looking at you, Iron Fist. Why did you have to suck so bad? Disney Plus has had a lot of success with their MCU TV series. WandaVision, Falcon, and The Winter Soldier, Loki, What If, and now Hawkeye have all been hits in one form or another. Moon Knight just dropped its trailer and fans are excited, but what about the other ones? What about, say, She-Hulk? Allow us to show you everything we know about She-Hulk. 7. She-Hulk, an overview of the character. Due to his popularity in pop culture as a whole, and of course his role in the MCU, you likely know about Bruce Banner, aka the Incredible Hulk. However, most would not know about Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk. Not that she isn't as popular per se, but much like many now popular MCU characters, she only got her due in the comics and some animated series, but never was given the major spotlight until now. So thus, we'll help you out with her backstory. In the comics, Jen gets shot by some henchmen for a crime boss who has it out for her dad, the sheriff. She needs an emergency blood transfusion, and it just so happens that the only available donor with the right blood type is her cousin, Bruce Banner. Her brand new gamma ray infused blood lets her Hulk out, green skin and all. Like her cousin, She-Hulk is super strong, super fast, super green, and heals very quickly. Unlike Bruce in the earlier MCU films, Jen retains her intelligence and emotional control when she transforms into She-Hulk instead of turning into a giant, green, powerful, and yet smart superhero. As a part of the grander Marvel Comics universe, She-Hulk is an icon in many ways and has been a part of various hero groups, including the Fantastic Four and the Avengers. So while she hasn't been given her due in other media, she has been getting it in the comics for decades. In fact, she just got a return to form via her own solo comic series. But while this is fascinating and the Disney Plus shows are highlighting some lesser known Marvel characters, you might have a singular question along the lines of, six, why aren't they just doing a Hulk series? A good question. And there is an answer that is honestly a bit sad because if you recall, there was a Hulk movie that helped start off the MCU via The Incredible Hulk starring Edward Norton. Due to creative differences with Marvel, Norton didn't return to the role of Banner and Mark Ruffalo took over once Avengers was made and he's been with it ever since, including being a key figure in Avengers Endgame and having a definitive cameo in the Shang-Chi movie. <laughs> However, there is a bit of a rights issue via the studio that made the Hulk movie back in the early 2000s, Universal. That movie was not well received, to say the least. And yet Marvel Studios was able to make one Hulk movie of their own, but not another. Marvel Studios can use Bruce Banner in a supporting capacity, which is how we got Thor Ragnarok, but he can't be used as the sole leading role. And due to that, She-Hulk is getting the push forward. And we should be grateful for that because Jennifer Walters is a great character and is going to bring something different to the MCU. Five, who's in the show? Naturally, a show is only as good or as bad as those who are in it. And given that She-Hulk isn't the most popular character, nor has the most robust of rogues, galleries, who is in the show is going to be critical. During the Disney investors meeting in December 2020, Marvel boss Kevin Feige announced that Emmy-winning actress Tatiana Maslany will be playing Jennifer Walters in the show. Maslany is a fan favorite actress thanks to her stunning performance in BBC America's Orphan Black, which saw her playing 14 wildly different clones over the course of the series. More recently, she starred opposite Matthew Rice in the first season of HBO's Perry Mason reboot. Fage also announced in December 2020 that Mark Ruffalo will be appearing in the Disney Plus series as Bruce Banner, aka The Hulk. Which is good, because as we already detailed, Bruce Banner is vital to the origins of She-Hulk, and to have her get created without him would be an insult in certain fashions. Tim Roth will be reprising his role as The Abomination, the villain he played in The Incredible Hulk. This is significant for multiple reasons, including we just saw him in Shang-Chi via a fight club scene, despite the fact that canonically S.H.I.E.L.D. put him quite literally on ice. And Tim Roth himself recently admitted that he was shocked that the MCU wanted him back. In a series synopsis released in December 2020, Disney wrote that She-Hulk will welcome a host of Marvel characters to the series. This is important because in that synopsis, they noted that She-Hulk will be a legal comedy of sorts with Jennifer working on superhero cases, which is exactly what she does in the comics. And thus, as we stated before, she brings something special to the MCU and the Disney Plus series as a whole. 4. Filming done 
While we don't have a release date outside of 2022, we can confirm that the filming of the series is done. There are set to be 10 episodes, and we'll likely be seeing the first of set episodes after Moon Knight is done with its run, as the shows never run on top of one another. The shooting of the series was supposed to start in July 2020, but it was delayed because of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. However, they were able to get it back up in 2021, and they've been working on it in front of the camera and in post ever since. Three, from WandaVision to Hawkeye. Here's the thing. The original intention of the Marvel slash Disney Plus shows was to start in 2020 alongside some of the big MCU movies that were supposed to be released then, like Black Widow and Eternals. However, the pandemic changed that, and it might have been in a good way. Because WandaVision was able to get done filming despite the pandemic restrictions, and so when it came out, it was honestly one of the only new shows out during that time. And as such, via the one episode a week method that Disney Plus does, they were able to build excitement for it week after week until it ended. Not long after it ended came Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which had its own take on things. And then there was Loki, which, well, it was Loki. Did you really expect it to bomb? Add to that the uniqueness of What If? And the hilarity of Hawkeye, mainly because of Kate Bishop. And you have a pattern here. People are wanting to try out these shows because they know they have a quality to them more or less, at times, we admit what they did to Kingpin was less than ideal. And they're willing to try them out. Look at Moon Knight for proof of this. There are people raving over the brand new trailer, even though he's not the most well-known character in Marvel Comics. So now imagine what happens when She-Hulk comes around with her own style of superhero justice. Two, serialized. Each Disney Plus series, for better or for worse, has their own style, substance, and intent. By that, we mean some are meant to lead into the MCU movies, see Phantom and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision, while others can be more serialized stories, Loki, What If, and possibly Hawkeye. With She-Hulk, there's a chance to go for multiple seasons, not just because she's a new hero being born, but because of her nature as a lawyer and the people she can meet. And since this is a comedy, which Marvel loves to do, you can bet that if they get enough people to watch it, they'll expand it and let this hero grow. Especially if they can get a certain daredevil of an actor to be a co-star. You never know. One, the teaser. Finally, and arguably most importantly, in November of 2021, we got to see a short teaser for She-Hulk. And to be clear, we really do mean short. In it, we see Jennifer Walters as her regular normal self, but we also get to see her with Bruce Banner, still in Professor Hulk form via Endgame, and a hint of her superhero look, even though we don't see it in full. Obviously, this is going to be something that many people will judge the show on, but hopefully we'll get a full look and trailer soon. So, what do you think? What do you think of this look at She-Hulk's upcoming Disney Plus series? and what we know about it so far. Do you think that the show will have the ability to match the quality of the other shows while also being true to the character of Jennifer Walters? What surprises or surprise cameos would you expect to see in this series? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time on the channel.